Hi, everybody. It's Chumley exploring up close in Sumter County. Well, that's the trip I'm here to tell you about. This is our annual spring fling trip. It's going to be March 20 through 22. That's a Wednesday through Friday. We have three spaces available on the trip. It's 100% small group exploration travel. In fact, there will be 10 of us, including me, maximum if we fill our remaining spots. Let me show you the map and tell you about some of the special places we'll be going. There's South Carolina coming into view. You can see this series of dots that I've put on the map highlighting a few of our stops on the Sumter County trip. So we'll be traveling from the upstate of South Carolina and Western North Carolina to just below Columbia, where the coastal plain meets the Sand Hills. That's part of the unique story of Sumter County itself. Let's look at some of the dots I've put on the map and tell what we might be seeing. Well, first of all, the town of Stateburg. Not much there now, but the town was a candidate for the first inland state capital of South Carolina circa 1790. That bid failed, but it was still quite an important place through the 19th century. Today, Stateburg is the home of at least three beautiful historic churches, some lovely mansions in what, what the region known as the High Hills of the Santee. One of those churches uh, is the lovely uh, green and white painted uh, High Hills Baptist Church that was the first pastorate of Richard Furman. More on that on location. We move south from Stateburg, we arrive at Poinsett State Park, one of the state's original Civilian Conservation Corps built state parks in the 1930s. It's a beautiful site, looks almost like a mountain area with a beautiful lake impounded by the CCC and beautiful gates and headquarters building that feature Tabby Stone that was quarried locally. We'll tell you all about Tabby when we're there. Uh, the town of Sumter, the county seat, also our lodging home for two nights at a beautiful boutique downtown hotel, um, a beautiful city featuring lovely architecture, including maybe South Carolina's most beautiful synagogue, uh, Temple Sinai, uh, with some of the loveliest stained glass that I've seen anywhere. Finally, off to the northwest is Boykin. Well, Boykin is not in Sumter County. It's just across the county line, but it is a name that's practically legendary. Yes, you might be thinking of Boykin Spaniels, the state dog of South Carolina. It's also home to one of South Carolina's most unique and um, uh, uh, restaurant venues, which is the Boykin Mill, Mill Pond Steakhouse. Uh, where it's tough to get in, but we'll, we're will we getting in. We have a reservation there for our second night. So um, that's a look at where we're going to go on the map. Um, other stories abound, including those about civil rights, South Carolina's most beautiful and outstanding residents. I'll let that remain a mystery, uh, but uh, come join us. We'll even pick you up at your house or another place that's convenient to you. Three spaces remain. Give us a call March 20 through 22 when we're exploring Sumter County, South Carolina.